Okay, Amanda Part Four. So, um, anyway, tell me about your ideas with doing some development and. I haven't. I, I hadn't even picked up my computer or looked for for about a year. But the last couple of weeks, I since going to New Life's Source and. I'm starting to get my passions for life back, and I have this island down in Puerto Rico that I've wa always wanted to put a hotel and uh, many resorts to cater to the celebrities. And before I got sick, I had started doing it, but I had dropped out of it. And so I planned a trip sometime at Christmas to go down and start working, but that's what I like. What came back the fastest is my passions. That's excellent. I, I had given up on my passions. Well, that's, uh, I think that's, a, that's another huge win for you. So thank you so much for sharing that. Okay, Amanda, take five. <laughs> <laughs> so tell, again, just tell me what you were saying. You were looking at Michael Jackson's. What really hit the lowest point is when Michael Jackson, I was looking at, his list of pain pills and what he had died from and his pain doctor was from Houston and I had been that route search for pills and I was on every one of them except the propanol and I was only 40 and where was I headed down a bad road that's scary wow thank you <laughs> okay Amanda another part here <laughs> the story continues can you just tell us a little bit about when you were in the pain clinics and sort of the shocking news about the grannies that were in there it, America is wrong with these pills I was in a pain clinic and I was shocked and astounded it wasn't your typical as you would think pain pill addict it was grandmothers and they were addicted to these pills from back surgeries and different issues. And they, they just couldn't get off of it. They could not get off of them. Just sweet as can be, just looked like your grandmother, but they were 60, 70, 80 years old. Exactly. And they couldn't get off it. And then, anyway, tell them about the, what was the celia plague? Um, I had had a, in my case, I had had a, these doctors, but when they don't, can't find a, a exact cause they don't know what to do with you and I was in the hospital I had had a celioplex block and it didn't work and, and what, what exactly is a celioplex block for? It, it's a nerve block that they go into your spine mm -hmm. and I woke up in incredible pain and they gave me a morphine drip mm -hmm. and we're thinking about implanting a pain pump right and the morphine wasn't helping and I would they kept me in the hospital for two weeks Wow. And finally, they decided, because they couldn't find any physical things, to send me up to Rochester to their pain clinic program, mm -hmm. which they flew me by helicopter, and I got there, and part of their pain program was taking you off all the medicines right. and breathing exercises and some things. And so it was almost a cruelty to my system because I was in pain, and they're saying no pain pills, which I didn't have a problem with because I hadn't been on them that long. But it, I think in my case, I've, it fell through the cracks, these, these doctors, even at the best in the country. Mm. 